Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video, and this one is titled, Cheat on Me, Enjoy Your New Life. Please make sure you like the video and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get right into it. So first off, let me tell you, this is a throwaway account. All the names and other stuff are changed because of privacy. Also, this is not my story, this happened to a friend of a friend. To the story, me and my friends sometimes hang out with a guy we will call Mark. Now, Mark is in his 40s, happily married to a woman. They have two kids in their teens. I will tell this story as accurately as possible from what Mark told us. As you all know, married life can many times get boring with 9 to 5 jobs, mundane life in a small time village. Kids are growing up, so you don't have to look after them 24-7 anymore. So you do what you can to make life interesting. You get a dog, start some hobbies, etc, etc. Or so at least Mark thought. He also thought that his happy little life would last forever. Wrong. Mark found out through the grapevine that while he was playing sports, being at work, trying to break the boring life they were having, his wife, let's call her Mandy, was attending to some hobbies of her own. Hobbies that included getting sweaty and real passionate with another man from a few towns over. At first, the rumors didn't bother him. They were rumors after all. But something in Mandy's behavior started to change. No more funny time with Mark. She started to get distant. No more talking, just yelling, being annoyed, etc, etc. It went on for a few months. This struck Mark as off. And one time, after we were done playing soccer, he asked us what to do. We came up with several advice, like confronting her. But Mark didn't want to ruin his marriage over some mood swings and a rumor. So he did what every sane man would do. He set up cameras all through the house. And I am talking PI quality stuff here. He had cameras in the bathroom, living room, their bedroom, basically everywhere but the room of his children. He updated us on his new hobby and his setup, and things cooled off for a few weeks. Now comes the revenge part. He didn't confront her right ahead. Mark formulated a plan. Living only a few towns over, he had no problem getting the guy's phone number. Now, you all know those pesty advertising companies who call you to get you to buy products, right? Mark pretended to be one of those guys and called the guy with the pretense that he was selling him some body cleansing pills and other stuff. He knew the guy was overweight, and being quite a smooth talker, he didn't have much problem getting him hooked. He got the guy's first and last name, which he already knew, his address, social security number, job address, and some other stuff that doesn't really matter to the story. He told the guy he was in a ballot for different prizes from the company he was working for, and he would stay in touch in case the guy won anything. After that came part two. While Mandy was at work on a Friday, he packed all the stuff she owned, clothes, jewelry, collectibles, and other stuff into their family car. They have a Volkswagen tour on, so everything she had easily fit in. When Mandy came home from work, he told her they were going on a trip. At first, she was against it. But again, the smooth talking convinced her to roll over pretty quick and she got in the van with him. Before that, he took the boys to one of our friend's house. They weren't 18 yet and he's a responsible father. And off they went. Where did they go, you ask? Remember how he called the guy Mandy was cheating with? I think you know the answer. Sadly, or very hilariously, Mandy had no clue. He took her all of her belongings to the guy's address and called him on the way, telling him to come outside. He said he won the first prize and he was on his way to give it to him personally. Mandy still had no clue. She thought he was just pranking one of his friends. I believe you realize by now that she isn't the brightest one in this world. Imagine her and the guy's face when he rolled into the parking spot of the guy's house. He stepped out of the car, shook the guy's hand and told him, here's your price sir, I believe you know what it is, took one last look at Mandy's white face and walked off. 
he got custody of both kids since he was better off than her, also told the judge she was cheating and that's why he was divorcing her. This all happened last year and as far as we know, the guy was an A-grade a-hole and she left him soon after that, after a few beatings and some trips to the ER slash police station. Mark got over her after some time and a lot of alcohol, but he and his boys are doing great. They were both big enough to realize their mom was at fault and still barely talk to her when they go to visit. She tried to return into Mark's life on a few occasions, but he did the smart thing and told her to F right off. He told us this story after we went out for a few beers after soccer again. I was laughing so hard imagining the whole thing I had to go to the bathroom, otherwise I would have peed myself. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as we did. And the OP has some edits for us, for instance how he got all of her stuff into one car. Well of course, he couldn't, and maybe he got some movers afterwards. Just imagine the van being packed with stuff for a trip, whatever floats your boat. I said I am writing this from memory so some things may not add up to your careful eyes, be warned. I also wasn't at the court hearing for custody, but the kids live with him and they visit the mother every other weekend. I asked them how it is and they said it's pretty petty between her trying to get their approval and trying to convince them she was not at fault. They are 16 and 17 years old now, so I believe them. I guess I am sorry for doing that. Lastly, this story is fake just because he got the rights to the kids? I know how things are in the USA, but as far as I know, judges here take into account everything. They'd rather give them to the person who is more equipped to take care of them. That includes salary, where they live, how they act in court. Get off your USA high horse since not all governments are female-centered and corrupt. And the first comment says, the spelling and references in the first part are UK or Canada. The reference to SSN is US, which is it? And the OP replied, we are from Europe, so my English may be similar to the British version, but we don't live in the UK. We have a sort of tax number in our country. Each citizen gets his own so he can file taxes and other stuff under that number. I thought SSN would be the most equivalent to that number. So I just wrote that. I can edit it out if it causes confusion. And the second comment says, As far as I can see, all this happened because of her change in attitude towards the negative, which caused her husband to investigate the reason for this change and uncover the infidelity. If she did not start acting badly towards the person she was married to, she could have kept it up for however long. Thank you guys for watching, please comment below and let me know if there's any other subreddits you guys would like me to make videos on and also like the video and please subscribe.